Till if you have just $4,210 to your name, you're still richer than half of the people on earth. I recently reached a milestone of pay that I only dreamed of as a kid. About 40 of my monthly paycheck goes to paying rent for a shitty apt. Nowhere near being able to afford a house anywhere in my state. I am so lucky to be where I am no debt, college or otherwise and still stuck with garbage living conditions and no way to own in sight. It is fucking dire off there, man. I don't know how people less fortunate survive. I can't imagine it. Don't think I would be strong enough. I hope we can all work to make things change for the better in the future. I remember the dog whisperer guy talking about how confused and amazed he was that he could buy a big gulp cup or whatever I just refill it as much as he wanted. I mean shit some people in the world would be amazed I can go to my sink and turn on drinkable water. Buy a fishing license once and catch fish to eat. It's almost depressing to know that even though all our basic needs are met we still are unhappy. Well, that we can still be unhappy. I have the luxury to feel sad that I'm sad. What a dumb fucking post designed to make people with little to no money feel better or even bad that they're complaining. Those people richer than half the world are still struggling and aren't loving life too much. Stop trying to sell the idea that being a fraction of a percent wealthier than the little poorest half of the world full of context means anything. Should I have $150,000 in my savings account that makes me richer than most people on earth including more than half of Americans don't have at least $2,000 in their savings? Please people learn proper budgeting and finance it's how I got my start at earlier age and there are free services such as Khan Academy. Do take your time learning basic finance. I can't remember the exact statistics but I remember watching something that said if you live in the US with zero debts and one dollar in your pocket you are technically richer than over half the US population. So imagine having zero debts and five thousand dollars in cash, that has to put you up there pretty high. This is stupid because it does not account of the purchasing power of that money. $4,000 would not last two months in expensive cities in North America but would last six months or more in a very poor country. So no, if you have $4,000, you're not richer than half the people on earth. A good portion of those people I'm richer than have far more buying power than I do they have access to huge amounts of cash flow and capital which is why they have a negative net worth. But practically speaking, they live way better than normal people. Don't tell the Americans. They'll have you believing they're struggling like they're living in the slums of the Philippines but really, they haven't lived in a house without an air conditioner and electricity. Some Americans should just be comedians. This is pretty much a pointless statement because it does not factor in where you live. Context matters a lot. You may be richer than half the people on the planet, but you'll struggle to live even for a month on that wealth in some places. This is misleading. You don't adjust for PPP. An equivalent amount in China won't be some 30k yuan. But a smaller number, because $1 worth of yuan 7.19 yuan is $1, does much farther in China than $1 does in land of the free. Every US citizen's wealth must be measured against their share of our national debt currently around $93,000. So subtract that amount from how much you have. US citizens are more on par with the third world than we know. I live in my car but I guess I'm technically above that if I include what's in my bank account and the value of my car. No, wait. I forgot my medical debt, credit card debt, and IRS debt. Yup, am under. Do non-investment possessions count? On my name I've got like, my computer, my backpack and my phone, and some textbooks. I still don't think it adds up to $4,000 though. That includes being almost mortgage free, I suppose. Having your assets be larger than any money owed to your name. Then I know very few who made the above 50. This is so stupid. If you buy a sandwich for $10 you're probably paying more for a single meal than 80 of the planet. Everything is relative. But given cost of living or buying power or debt or a myriad of other stuff then things change drastically. Interesting stat though. And if your yearly household income exceeds $13,440, you are in the top 50 in the world for that as well. IMF, 2023. YMMV. I don't I've ever had that much at one time. And M40. My car is 3 grand and my random computer parts might be another G. At one point this year I had a grand total of 45 cents to my name. Think it's safe to say I belong in that bottom half. To be among the top 10% worldwide, 
You don't even need six figures a net worth of $93,170 will do it. Well the people living in rural Tanzania don't have to pay $4,000 a year in property tax Mr. Shapiro. Except to earn that much money you must live where it costs twice that much to live per day. Hmm $4,210 in SFO is not the same as $4,210 in a village in Africa with enough resources. Chances are, your cost of living is also higher than that of half the people on earth. Well shit. All I need to be richer than 50 of the human population is another $4,205. Finally my Jewishness pays off still waiting for my rule the world card from Kanye. Can someone rich send me a dollar please? I'm stuck with the peasants at $4,209. Well, you need that amount just to meet your annual medical deductible in USA. I have 117.00 for the next two weeks. What do I win? I win something right? Damn. I just spent $100 on a family lunch today. I'm now on the bottom 50. My net worth is negative at the moment. That puts me in the poorest 20. That half of the people on earth don't have a mortgage or student loans. Yeah, but most of those other members don't have to pay NYC prices. Ha! I'm in the upper 49.999999999996. Suck on that, have not. I hope people read the article and realize this is from 2018. Have money? That's not already accounted for? Who has that? If this doesn't prove wealth is of the mind then what will? If I add up the black market value for all of my organs? Yeah you'd be richer than me and most people I know too. Is that without debt? Because I'm definitely in the red. Till I'm in the bottom 50 of the wealth distribution. Repeat after me. Purchasing. Power. Parity. Matters. Does this include babies people under any age?